Welcome back to the tutorial on keyboard shortcuts in BricsCAD. Please click on the link provided at the description section of this video to see the previous tutorial on this topic. Let's start with the application of control keys. The control one toggles the properties panel using which you can control the various properties and parameters related with entities. Now press control one again to close it. Control two opens the Drawing Explorer dialog box, which is a powerful tool in BricsCAD. On the left side, you will see various category of informations in a drawing. Each category can be viewed, edited, and copied between drawings. Control 9 toggles the display of command line. When you press Control 9, it executes command line command. And when you press Control 9 again, it executes command line hide command. Control 0 toggles the display of user interface entities as specified by clean screen options system variable. This variable can take values from 0 to 127. Clean screen options by default is set at 12. Now I'll press Control 0 and you can see that all the interface elements on top except the document tabs are hidden. Now I'll press Ctrl 0 to get those elements back. Now I'll give clean screen options the value 4 and press Ctrl 0. You can see that the title bar on top got hidden. Likewise, you can try out various values. Ctrl A selects all entities in the drawing and it's a time saver. I'll press Ctrl A and I'll execute mirror command now I am not asked to select objects because I have already selected it. Now I will pick the start of mirror line and the end of mirror line and I will click on yes to delete the entities which are selected for mirroring. Control B toggles the snap mode. When the snap mode is on, the cursor moves at fixed increments in the x and y directions set using the snap command. I will give snap command and you can see that the snap value in the x and y direction is set at 1 units. Now I will give line command and when I move the mouse you can see that the cursor is moving freely. Now I will press Ctrl B to activate the snap. I will execute line command and I will pick a point over here. When I move the mouse values are changing at an increment of 1 units. I will also move in the y direction. You can see the incremental movement of the cursor and you can complete the rectangle. When the snap is on, you can see the snap button in the active state in the status bar. Now I'll press Ctrl B to turn off the snap. Ctrl C copies the selection to the clipboard so that it can be pasted on a different location in the same drawing or onto a different drawing. Now I'll make a selection of these entities. Press Ctrl C. Open new drawing and I'll press Ctrl V to paste it. Control shift c can be used to copy the selection with a base point so that it can be pasted on the same or on a different drawing on a corresponding location. I'll make a selection here then I'll press Control shift c which will actually invoke copy base command. Now I'm asked to select a base point. I'll pick this point as a base point. Now I'll press Control v to paste it but while pasting, you will be asked to specify an insertion point. I'll pick a point over here. Now it is pasted on a corresponding location. And when you paste it, the software actually invokes the paste clip command. Control E sets the isometric plane. And this applies only when the snap style is set to 1. So I'll give snap style command. And I'll set to 1. Now you have got an isometric cursor and you can create isometric drawings. I'll click on line command and I'll create number of lines. I'll type 2 units, 2 units, 2 units and close. Now I'm in the isometric top plane. Next I'll press Ctrl E to switch over to isometric right plane. Now I'll continue drawing lines. 
Next I will switch over to isometric left plane by pressing Ctrl E. Likewise I can change isometric planes by using Ctrl E. Ctrl of launches the find command. Here you can see find and replace dialog box. In the find area I will input CAD and I will replace it with bricks CAD. Now the word CAD in the multi-line text will be replaced with bricks CAD. I will click on replace all and I will close the dialog. Ctrl G toggles the display of grid mode. When you press Ctrl G the grid will get turned on and when you press it again it will get turned off. The grid spacing is controlled using the grid command. The present value is 0.5 I will give 1. Now the grid spacing is changed. Ctrl H toggles the value of pick style settings which controls the selection of groups and associative hatching and it can take values from 0 to 3. Over here I have a number of rectangles and each rectangle is an individual entity. Using the group command I am going to group these entities as a single unit. I will give group command. Now I have the entity grouping dialog box. I will give the group name as chair. Now I will click on select entities and create group. I have selected all the rectangles. Now I have created a group with the name chair and I will give OK. Now I will input pick style and I will give the value 0. Now I will try copy command and if I try to make a selection you can see that I could select only the individual entities because the pick style is given the value 0. Now I will go back to pick style and give the value 1. I will execute copy command again. Now when I hover on the group you can see that you have selected all the entities in a group because the pick style is given the value 1. This is an associative hatch. When I move the hatch the boundary will remain there. That's because the pick style variable is given the value 1. Now I will give pick style variable the value 2. Now I will move the hatch slightly upward and you can see that the boundary will also get moved along with it. When the pick style variable is given the value 3 you can do both. Means you can make a group selection and you can also move the associative hatch along with the boundaries. Now I'll give pick style the value 3. I'll give move command and when I select the group you can see that all the entities got selected and when I select the hatch and if I move in the upward direction the boundary will also move along with the hatch. When you press Ctrl H you can toggle between the values 2 and 3. Now you can see that the value of pick style variable is automatically set to 2. Next I'll press Ctrl H again. You can see that it is set to 3. Likewise you can toggle between these two values when you press Ctrl H. Ctrl I sets the readout of coordinate field in the status bar. It actually toggles the values of codes variable from 0 to 2. When codes variable is set to 0 the status bar shows coordinate only when a point is selected. I will input codes and I will give the value 0. Now when I move the pointer you can see that the coordinate field is not getting updated. Next I will draw a line starting from this point. When I pick a point you can see the coordinate field in the status bar showing the values of the coordinates. Now I will pick the next point. Coordinate of that point is shown. Likewise as you pick points the coordinate values will be shown. Now I will change the value of codes variable to 1. Now when I move the pointer you can see that the coordinate field in the status bar is showing the coordinates of the location of the pointer even if I am in the command prompt. When codes variable is set to 2 The coordinates field in the status bar shows the values of coordinates in polar form that is in distance and angle. Now I will execute line command and I will pick a point over here. 
you can see the values of distance and angle getting dynamically changed and you can see the same change in the coordinates field in the status bar. Control I actually toggles the values of codes variable from 0 to 1. When I press Control I it is set to 0. Now when I press again it is set to 1 and now it is set to 2. Control J repeats the previously given command. I'll press Control J and you can see that the codes command is getting repeated because that was the most recently given command. This completes the tutorial on some of the keyboard shortcuts in PRIXCAD. Thanks for your time.